Oh, wow, that's a lot of grass sludge. Well, this is the Husqvarna Garna lawnmower picked up the other day out of a yard sale. It's cheap, like me. You can tell I'm cheap when the pattern of my shirt doesn't even continue to the back. But, the little old lady I bought it from primed it and pulled it herself just to prove it would work, and it does. But she turned out to be a social deviant as, uh, as soon as you set it down and engage the self-propelled. It's not self-propelled, it's me-propelled and hard. But, if you tip her up, wheel spin like it should drive on her own so I'm thinking the belt is just worn and loose so I ordered that in and I'm going to change on her today and we'll see how big a deal that's going to be closer I ordered one of these belt uh, kits there off the internet and it comes with the belt hope it's the right one and it comes with the tensioner and whatever this is called can't remember spring and spring retainer the lawnmower weighs 937 pounds and I'm only about two and a half inches from my garage door on clearance so I'm going to try to tip it over anyway and see if I can uh, knock all my drill chargers off my toolbox. I better take them down. I think they are going to get hit. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Real sturdy. All right. Well, I did disconnect the spark plug for you safety folks out there that are concerned about it. Oh! Probably not going to start up and chop my arms off. This is a little bit of a mess. Well, got to be honest, I kind of expected the belt to be on this side, but it looks like it's on the top side. <clears throat> That's pretty decent. This looks like a tree branch. It is. And the rest of this is just gummed up in there, so... I guess I'll just get my bare hands in there and pull it all out. This blade's actually really sharp and in good condition, so I'm not even going to hit that. I thought it was cutting real well when I was pushing it. Even though you got to be Hulk Hogan to get it pushed around. You know what's going to suck? Is if I have to go through the top side of this and then the bottom side of this, which is likely. I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet. Take her down. like a 9 sixteenths. There she is. And we'll see how hard she is to break off of there. I have to put something in there. Don't do this without cutting your hands off. Hey, I don't want too bad.
one of the things I got to do too is uh, pull that tire off. If you notice, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, the bottom tire, the drive tire is completely bald. So I'm going to switch it out for one of these less bald tires, see if I can get another five years out of it. Three eighths maybe. Oh yeah. That's a winner. All right, so basically putting this back on, I redid the bolt there and there. I installed the new belt underneath there. The trick to it is, once you get these off, you can take the whole assembly out, it just pulls right off. And then the belt goes through this part first. And then you bring it out to this side. And the trick is, you push this forward and it lets you pull the belt around the pulley. And it won't go all the way, so you gotta kind of walk it along the pulley until it gets centered but it's a lot tighter than it was so that should hopefully fix it up and i got some new uh drive tires on order and as soon as those hit i'll update you so the bolt that i took out of this hole right here which is five ace when i backed it out i figured out that the bolt on the end was bent went through my whole garage hoard don't have a bolt that size so what i did is i put a cotter pin through and bent it and it's holding pretty good over here if you want to come take a look at it bring her on over here and look at it look at that keep going cotter pins in there i don't think it'll hit the blade but you never know watch out the blades coming all right good should be good to go and now we're going to clean the grass out and i'm going to lower it and we'll see what happens from there anything could happen so in conclusion of the video I went ahead and uh, I don't know how all this stuff got back on the tool bench but uh, end of the day 9 16 is what you need for the blade 5 16 nope 5 ace is what you need for the underneath and 3 ace is what you need for the top and I went ahead and replaced on these uh, wheels if you can see these if you get in there close you can see where the gears had been chewed away, which it's more pertinent on this one. See the gears had been turned away and chewed up, and that's why it wasn't driving. So I put a new belt on, thought that might do it, but this is definitely the real culprit. So I threw some new wheels on there and it just drags me through the yard now, which is good. Plus, since I get rid of these wheels, I don't have to scrape the dog crap off. All right, the thought of the day is, what's the thought of the day? You're the one that brought it up. The thought of the day, Clear your lawn of rocks. <laughs> Clear your lawn of rocks. That's a good thought of the day. And if it only costs you 30 bucks to replace a couple drive wheels, you might want to start with that. That way you're not doing a complete overhaul of the lawnmower for no reason. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. No digging. No. Sorry. Stop. Stop. All right. So I'm going to walk by and you throw the stone and try to hit me right on the head, inside mm -hmm. the head. I try. Yeah. Okay. But wait till I walk. Okay. I didn't get quite high enough. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's a good try. I got to make sure I'm in the screen. All right. <laughs> that was a good one.